You it is good, you it's your boys. I'm back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be doing a tier list of the top shooting guards in NBA 2K24. My team. Now, I tried to include basically all of the top shooting guards in the game, most of the best. Got about 40 guys here to rank. Uh, some of the Evo cards, some of the budget guys, as well as some of the top guys with like a T-Mac and Kobe type of guy. Now, as we started off here with the Ruby Herb Jones, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 130,000 subscribers. Herb Jones, your friend of typical 3 and D guy. Not going to do anything more or less for, uh, you know, for you guys than that. Going to knock down shots, decent release, good lateral quickness. Only at 82 speed. That's the real downside to Herb Jones. But let's say you're starting 2K today. I think still Starting your squad with Herb Jones, good option. It's crazy. He's in the same set as JJ Redick, and Herb Jones side by side is better than JJ Redick. I'm sorry, but that's as simple as I can put it. Both cards solid in their own right. JJ Redick, all he can really do is shoot the ball, though. Outside of that, doesn't give you a whole much else, and that's why I'm a bigger fan of Herb Jones in my team. Clay Thompson up next, S tier, S tier, S tier for Clay. If you do not think Clay Thompson is S tier, I just think you don't know what you're talking about. Clay is absolutely that man in my team, and, I, and that's all I can really say on it. I've used Clay for quite a while now in on my squad, and I, I just love him. Fades good, limitless range on Hall of Fame, defensively is underrated. You can make the argument Clay overall is the best shooting guard in the entire game. KCP up next, C tier. When you talk about underrated cards in 2K at the shooting guard position, I still think to this day KCP is up there for one of the most underrated cards in the, sh in the game at the shooting guard position. I mean, he does a lot for you, knocks down shots, plays decent defense, C tier for KCP. Andre Iguodala up next. I'm going to go B tier. I mean, Iggy is fine. I don't hate the card. I just think release is a little bit slow. He does play a lot of defense. But when we're talking about best shooting guards in the game, I don't think he's quite that tier. Fine. Nothing special in my team. Anthony Edwards, D tier. I'm sorry, Ant-Man. I wish you were better. I wish I could sit up here in front of everybody and say, you know what? I think Ant is better than D tier. But I just can't say that. He's fine. But if you put Ant any higher than D tier, I just think you don't know what you're talking about. Austin Reeves with the duo is at minimum B tier. Without the duo, I think I gotta go C tier. The problem with Austin Reeves is he just does not play a lot of defense. Similar to real life, you've seen lately Austin Reeves been getting absolutely attacked every single possession. I think in 2K, his defense leaves a lot to be desired. Brandon Miller up next. Do I want to go C tier or B tier? I actually like Brandon Miller. I think I like him enough to put him at that B tier. 6'9", good frame, decent release, solid defensively and offensively decent as well. Badge-wise for Brandon Miller, really stout as well. I know he's a ruby, so people don't really want to gas him up too high, but Brandon Miller is really solid in my team. Brandon Roy at this stage, I think I'm going to go C tier. I mean, still for like salary cap or any of those other types of game modes, He's fine. I'm not going to just sit here and harp on how bad he is. He's fine in those types of game modes. Now, is he a guy that I want to, you know, go out there and use a ton of Brandon Roy? No, but offensively, he is still a bucket in my team. Cam Reddish, at this stage, I think I got to go D tier, and I'll move JJ Reddick and Anthony Edwards down. Cam Reddish isn't bad, but I just think he's like a worse version of Herb Jones. They're both going to be playing good defense. I just think Herb gives you a little bit more on the court. Clyde Drexler, I think B tier. Some people might argue A. I just think defensively, he's fine. Not great. And if you want me to hype you up anymore, you got to be A tier. The thing for Clyde is he doesn't shoot the ball that well. Defensively, he's just fine. B tier for Clyde Drexler. Dominic Wilkins. C tier. I mean, I don't even hate Dominic Wilkins, but his dribble style is not good. His release is, leaves a lot to be desired. I think C tier is as high as I can go with Dominic Wilkins. It's just a guy not very high on. Doug Christie, I mean, C tier as well. I'm sorry, I don't see it with a lot of these cards, and maybe I need to move some players up. Maybe I need to move some players down. But when I'm looking at Doug Christie, a reward of last year, he's fine. You can run him and have some success with him. He's just not incredible in my team. Franz Wagner with the duo, probably A tier. Without the duo, B tier. I'll put him in B tier. Here's the deal with Franz Wagner. 6'10", good release, good player, amount of player build. There's only a certain amount of things I could say with him. With the duo, obviously, I think he becomes way better if you run Jalen Suggs with him. I'd put him at A tier. Without the duo, still at B tier. Jared Wallace, random in salary cap, and honestly, I didn't hate the card. Talk about 3 and D guys, Jared Wallace is exactly that. You could argue Jared Wallace all the way up in B tier. I have no issues with that. 
Definitely a guy that can compete at a really high level. Gordon Hayward at this stage, I'm going to put him in D tier. And I know a lot of people aren't going to like that, but at this stage, what does he do on the court? I know his height is decent, but outside of that, he just doesn't shoot the ball well. He doesn't play lanes that well. Defensively, is just okay. Just do not love him. Harold Miner, C tier. I don't hate Harold Miner, but I do like Brandon Miller and Franz Wagner both more than Harold Miner. Harold Miner is the same type of tier as KCP and Herb Jones in my team. J.R. Smith, D tier. I know a lot of people are going to get mad at me, but J.R. Smith is not nearly as good as Franz Wagner or any of those guys. And that's like why the, when the Showtime packs were in the game for 10,000 MT, I was like, don't rip them. Because if you pull a guy like J.R. Smith, he's useless. He's unoctionable. And so I know a lot of people got mad at me. I stand by it. J.R. Smith is fine. Not great in my team. James Jones up next. I think B tier is where he belongs. I'm going to move Iggy up to A tier because I think he's better. I like James Jones, but defensively, he's not good enough to put him at A tier. I, I, I think offensively, even shooting the ball, he's absolutely elite, one of the best there is. But I cannot put him any higher than B tier. Jalen Brown at this stage, C tier, he's just not great. When Jalen Brown came out, the card wasn't great. Still to this day, he's fine. Not great. He's not a card that I'm looking at for JB and like, wow, this card is next level good. This card is absolutely elite. This card can play forever. He's fine. I don't hate Jalen Brown, but is he great? No, C tier. Jerry Sloan, he's not bad. He's not great, though. I think A tier maybe for Jerry Sloan, I guess. I don't know. He's a collector level. There's a limited number of people that have Jerry Sloan, or if I don't even know if he's in the game. I'm guessing so. And uh, and I just don't, I don't love the card. He's fine. He's not a card that I'm looking at like, yeah, let's grind collector level for him. I'm going to actually move him down. Jimmy Buckets, A tier, not S tier. If you want to put Jimmy in S tier, though, I'm not going to argue with it. Jimmy Butler, absolutely elite still to this day. Joe Johnson, C tier. I mean, if he had a better release compared to the Brandon Ingram base, I'd be higher on him, but he's C tier. That's as high as I can go with him. Kawhi Leonard, A tier. Honestly, I'm going to go S tier with Kawhi. You could argue A tier, but I think because he is, you know, the best defense player at the small, uh, at the shooting guard position, I think I got to put him in S tier. Kobe, S tier, top of S, pretty self-explanatory. Latrell Sprewell, I'm going to put him in A tier. I actually like Latrell Sprewell. Get him in salary cap. I think he can play at an extremely high level with what he provides for you guys on the court. A tier for Latrell. MJ, at this stage, I mean, I still put him at B tier because he's still going to defend at an extremely high level. He's just not worth the MT, not worth the amount of money you have to spend to get the card. Michael Red, I've not used him. I'm closing on him. Supposedly, his release is borderline unusable. Until further notice, he's B tier. I'll drop a gameplay with him relatively soon and we'll go from there. Mikael Bridges, C tier. I, when Mikael Bridges dropped, thought he had a lot of potential. But as I'm sitting here today, I don't think so. Like, he's fine. His release is just not good. And for Carlo to put him as a top 10 shooting guard in the entire game is absolutely nuts. Nick Young, Swaggy P, absolutely elite offensively. Still deserving a B tier. I know he's an amethyst, so you guys might be like, seriously, Ty, you're just hyping up all these budget cards. But Swaggy P, Nick Young can get the job done at an extremely high level. Paul George at this stage, I'm going to go A tier. I really still like Paul George, and I'm super excited for the next Paul George card we get. Shout out Paul George. Sold against the Timberwolves last night. But... Playoff P, super good in my team. Good frame, good release, solid defense, so I can't hit the card. Paul Pierce, I'll go B tier. Decent frame. The problem with Paul Pierce is his release. His dribble style is really good with Kyrie, but he has just a beta release that is borderline unusable in my team. I wish Paul Pierce was better because tokens, thats they're basically useless unless you're getting, you know, the top guys in this season. Tokens are going to be tokens are gonna be useless because Paul Pierce is just not good. RJ Barrett up next. I'm going to go A tier. You guys don't have to agree with me, but I think RJ Barrett is super solid in my team and can play at an extremely high level. Has a decent release, attacks the rim well, plays decent defense. RJ Barrett, A tier. Ray Allen up next, C tier. I do not see it with Ray Allen. Every time I match up with Ray Allen, I'm licking my chops. Like, thank goodness, this card is a bona fide scrub that cannot play. I'm sorry. You want to run A, Ray Allen? Do what you got to do. I'm just not a fan of him. Rolando Blackman up next. Supposedly he's a cheese, cheese bowl and salary cap, but I don't really see it with the card, and I don't know. I, I mean, C tier, I guess. Now I'm going to go D tier. I just do not love Rolando Blackman. Now I am going to move some players down that I do not love at C tier. Ray Allen, I just don't like you at all. I even take Jalen Brown, Joe Johnson over Ray Allen. Ray Allen does nothing on the court for you. Ron Artest up next. I think S tier for Ron Artest. I think Ron Artest is better than everybody I have at A tier, and that's including Jimmy. I think Jimmy is extremely extremely close to going to S tier though. T-Mac, last but certainly not least, you don't have to like it. I'm going T-Mac at S tier. I, I, and look, 
it's not one size fits all. Not everybody has to love Trace McGrady. But with what I've seen on the court, he's 6'8". He dunks on everybody. His release is good. His leaner is fine. He plays good defense. I like Trace McGrady in my team quite a bit. And honestly, if I was to go do things, I, you could do a tier list like this too. I would have no issues if you wanted to do, to do a tier list like this because I do think Kobe is a step above e of everybody else. But my tier list today is this. Also, I wouldn't mind if I did this either. I think I'm going to do this. I think Jimmy is as tier compared to the guys at A tier. And I think this is where I'm going to leave the list. C tier, there's a ton of people, but I just don't feel like there's that many garbage men in 2K. And I can't stand him, but this is the tier list I do have for today. Let me know your thoughts on the shooting guard tier list down below in the comments. If I left anybody off the list, also let me know. That helps me out for the future videos. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.